the video itself was taken uh, in a pallet yard and we were palletizing all of our gear, trying to get it ready to go on a cargo plane because we were leaving one country and going to the next. So we were really thankful for the help that the pallet yard crew gave us and we thought, hey, let's just leave our acoustic gear out. Let's play five songs and just kind of give them a show because this was night shift. <laughs> We were at a base where we were staying in tents and we didn't have the internet unless we walked for about a mile. And when we got there, I noticed that one of my friends had uploaded the video or shared it on his Facebook account. And I was like, dude, that's me. It only took one person to think it was important enough to share with somebody and it just kind of snowballed from there. It's been just a really interesting experience to have all of this notoriety coming stateside and we're however many thousand miles away. I think it's really special for our men and women in uniform to see uh, a band in uniform who's there to musically support them. I think there's a connection that immediately happens. Probably the best part that I took away from the deployment was seeing people in the audience crying after our songs and it made them really feel emotion and they would get lost in our music and that really means a lot to me. It's really cool just seeing how a, uh, how it affects people, you know, just, you know, I've grown up with music and, you, you know, you don't really, when you do music as a job, you start to forget how much it means to people. It is the first time for us to be playing at the White House and it's an absolute thrill uh, to be able to be here playing for such a wonderful event because I really believe in supporting the families and those who are, are deployed overseas. It's so thrilling. It makes you feel really proud and patriotic. Singing at the White House has always been something that's on my bucket list, like that I thought maybe someday, you know, I'll do that. I never really expected it to happen. Well, my heart knows me better than I know myself, so I'm going to let it do all the time. Dream come true. It's probably the best moment of my life. <laughs>